We're adding a photo gallery to our bakery store page today to show all the cakes on offer. And we'll go over two ways of implementing this, using front matter and using collections. So we'll start with front matter. Um, this is a great way if the photo gallery is only going to be on one page. So I've created photogallery.html uh, and set up some front matter with the default layout and this images array. Uh, so each image has an image path uh, to the location of the image and a title. And the images are located here. So now let's output these images in an unordered list. So I'll create a UL uh, and I'll give it a class of photo gallery. Then I'll loop over all the images. Output an ally. And an image with a source and an alt tag. So the source will be the image path and the alt will be the title. I've already added some styles in this photo gallery class so let's have a look at the live site. So now the bakery store has this grid of images in the photo gallery. So this is a great way to format the data in the photo gallery because I can easily remove an item, reorder them, um, add a new item, and I can extend the functionality here. For example, if I wanted to make all the items in the photo gallery linked to an external site, um, I could just add a link here of the site I want to link to. So this one will link to Google. Um, and then I can add an A with an href of that link, so image.link. And now when I click on that image, it's going to take me to Google. So you can really extend this for all of your needs. Now we'll look at using a collection instead of front matter. So I'll delete the front matter here. And I've already added a collection. You can see photo gallery here. And if we go into one of the items, it's got the same data here, but instead of it being an array, each photo in the gallery uh, has its own document in the collection. So this is good if we're using this data on multiple pages, or if you just had a lot of metadata, it would be much easier to manage as a collection. So instead of uh, calling page.images, uh, we're going to use the collection. So it's site.photogallery. And that should work exactly as it was before, which you can see here. And if we wanted to control the order of the items in the gallery, we could add uh, a weight field and give it a number which indicates the position we want it to be in the gallery. So we'll make this one one, and I'll copy that, and just add it to the rest of these. And we'll swap these last two around so we know it's worked. So Lamington should be last. Now on our photo gallery page, we need to get the items in the photo gallery and sort them. So we'll do that here. So we'll have a variable called sorted gallery, which is equal to site.photogallery. We'll pass it through the sort filter uh, and we'll sort it on weight. 
then instead of cycling over site.photo gallery, we'll cycle over sorted gallery. So now we've controlled the order and you can see that Lamington is last there. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.